Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Sophie appeared to put on a brave face as she was driven to Westminster Abbey down the Mall for the final goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II, but was seen dabbing her tears with a white handkerchief midway through the service. The Countess of Wessex, known to have grown very close to the late sovereign over the past two decades, donned a black outfit and a fascinator to the poignant event. The funeral began a few minutes after the bearer party lifted the Queen's coffin from the catafalque in Westminster Hall, where it had been since Wednesday. It is now on its way to Windsor Castle via Wellington Arch, followed by a procession led by King Charles, Prince William and other royals, as well as members of the King and Prince of Wales households. The affection was surely matched by the Countess, who was mentioned by the late Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward, in a long and emotional statement issued on Friday. Speaking of how he enjoyed seeing his children, Lady Louise Windsor and James Viscount Seven, follow in the Queen and Prince Philip's footsteps when it comes to their passions and hobbies, Edward said... The Queen's passing has left an unimaginable void in all our lives. Sophie and I have taken huge pleasure in seeing our James and Louise enjoying the places and activities that their grandparents loved so much. Given that my mama let us spend so much time with her, I think she also rather enjoyed watching those passions blossom. Those times together, those happy memories, have now become massively precious to each and every one of us. On the same day, Sophie and Edward stepped out together to view tributes to the late Queen at Windsor. On Thursday, they travelled to Manchester to light candles at Manchester Cathedral in honour of the late monarch, see the Book of Condolence at the city's central library and greet well-wishers gathered at St Anne's Square. But today, Sophie solemnly walked up to the great west door at Westminster Abbey and bowed her head before proceeding to step inside the chapel. She followed the procession, led by King Charles III, Queen Consort Camilla and the senior royals, who were all seated in the front rows of the chapel. Sophie was given a seat next to her husband, Prince Edward, and was sat at the end of the first row, which is made up of King Charles, Queen Consort Camilla, and Princess Royal and Prince Andrew. The Countess, who was deeply found fond of the late monarch, has been pictured looking solemnly at the Queen's coffin, which has been placed just in front of her for the duration of the service. It has been draped in the Royal Standard flag and adorned with the Royal Imperial Crown, the Sovereign's Orb and the Sovereign's Scepter with Cross. The funeral service has now concluded and a procession is now on its way past Wellington Arch to Windsor Castle, which will be the Queen's final journey out of the capital. Sophie was pictured looking heartbroken as she walked out of the chapel alongside Prince William and his children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte. She congregated outside the abbey with Queen Consort Camilla, the new Princess of Wales, Catherine, the Duchess of Sussex and the children as the procession began. Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, was driven to Windsor by car via Wellington Arch, where she, among other royals, reconvened to watch the late monarch's coffin be placed into the state hearse, which drove out to loud cheers from crowds applauding the remarkable 70 years service conducted by the late Queen. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.